In this video, I'm going to cover special features starting on the main menu. On the main menu, there's a little pictorial down at the bottom of the screen. And what this is, is on YouTube, when you're running the, these videos, if you would click on the gear and either put uh, one of the higher resolutions, for example, like 720, it'll give you a much clearer image on the screen on YouTube. This video is run by clicking this icon. Uh, let's cover some special features I would like to show you. For example, on the uh, main screens, if you look at the main screens and go to the, any one of the tabs where there's an underline on the actual title for the field, like these two fields here, these are drop-down list or and or uh, scrollers on an iPad. If you have a scroller on an iPad, one of the problems is that when you click, there's no place to change the, uh, the scroller information on it. It will drop down on the scroller. And in this case, on the desktop, it doesn't do that. But what you need to do is have some kind of a screen that allows you to edit the text in these, these scrollers so on the iPad. So what I've done is I've added a link on an underlined uh, title that will bring you to an editing screen where you can either edit the individual lines or add a new record and put a new uh, word or phrase into this area up at the top. By clicking these, it'll change the word at the top if you want to edit it. So you can see here, you can edit it up here on the top as well. At the side of all of these editable screens, there's a link that will take you back to the screen you were on. So we're going to go back there. One of the other things, if you're on the main menu and you click on one of the list views and you want to see a specific thing uh, like the text at the top scroll or and or edit the, a sort on the items look for italic text on any of the listings and for example if you go to the uh, let's try the sales listing if you'll notice here these are italic any of the italic ones if you click on them will sort the fields on the the uh, item that you're looking at for, for example, now these are in order when you click this, they'll go into order and then by date. So these are put in there to allow you to edit the way the screen will look as far as the image uh, stuff in, in order by clicking on any italic. The next thing is these icons at the top of the screen is a lock. When it's a locked lock, it means that you should not add new records in this screen, but also it is a link that goes back to the main menu. Uh, on any of these buttons right here, the find and, and uh, find mode and perform find, these are used to find specific records, individuals or groups of records for information that you want to print. You can do that by date. You can do it by any typing in anything. When you click on it, it empties the field and allows you to type in information. If you type in something that's not recognized or is not present in that record, you will get a modify button that'll tell you that you did not get the right word or phrase in there that is subject to being in the uh, database. With that said, I hope this is helpful and adds some more uh, functionality to the way the application works. Uh, if you have any questions or need any help, as always, you get free support by either going on the chat on the support site, which is this button here, or you can go ahead and call me or send me email. Thank you.